Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby, and I am doing a video to share my projects with all of you that I have made for the current design team call with May Arts. A couple of the projects are ones that you've seen before on my blog, but two of them are brand new. Um, the one on the table right here, the banner I just made, and then right there, dead in the center, that is a project I've had in my mind for quite some time. In addition to paper crafting, I really enjoy um, decorating cakes and baking cakes and things like that. And so I wanted to create a topsy-turvy cake out of nothing but cardstock, ribbon, and flowers and some trims. So I just wanted to kind of show all of the projects all at once. I'm going to take the camera off my tripod and then I'll do a close-up of each of the projects. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Oregon as you can tell from the back, so I hope it's not too too bright. This was the best place to take the video um, instead of my craft room. So bear with me as I take you guys off the tripod. I'll try to hold the camera as steady as I can here. I will probably have to put it back on when I do this, um, when I show you guys the cake because there's something secret about the cake that you cannot see from just here. So give me just a sec to get this on my hand. Okay. So what you see here is my banner I made. The, um, I'll have a description in my blog post of all the different, for each project, the different products and, and um, terms and things like that that I use. But this is the pennant canvas uh, banner from Maya Road. And then I just used um, a combination of some chipboard letters, some trims, burlap, fabric, and um, some flat back pearls and some different inks and sprays to create this banner and this is going to go in my craft room above my window so I think this is a perfect sign to have for myself and I'll kind of go in close so you guys can see underneath here this is some of that really pretty um, white lace from May Arts and I just did some different sprays on it to kind of make it match with the project. The backing that you see underneath all the letters, that is some of the burlap trim from my, uh, May Arts. I love it. It's wonderful stuff. What I did is it actually is, is um, a two, you know, it's wider. I cut it right in half. That way I just have this one border because I like that. And then it just really gives a nice background for the letters, I think. And then I'll go here so you can kind of see. I did a couple different techniques on the let chip or letters. I'll do a tutorial just on that alone. I just wanted to point that out. And I have some paper flowers, roses right here. I made this flower. I have a tutorial I'll be having in this post as well. Vintage button. And the very top right here, you guys can see what I have topped off onto the, the um, fabric that I'm using as the banner, to hang the banner on. This is left over from the flower I made here. And you'll see that in the tutorial how I did that. And you can see that's that beautiful. This is some of the new release um, cotton trim from um, May Arts. I love it. And I just used some sprays on it to give it that light purple color since that is my favorite. And that is the color of my room. It's just a really fun, shabby um, banner. And I love it. And so this is the best way for me to do a video for you guys with it on the table. So hopefully I'm not making you guys too dizzy with that. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just push the banner over here and then I'll show you guys the new project that I just created as well I'll bring the cake over and I'm gonna grab my stool here pardon me you guys okay there we go so I'm gonna try to do this one-handed um, without putting it back on the tripod but I'll just kind of go around and let you guys see the cake I'm gonna actually open that sun's not too bright there and so what I did is I have this corrugated cardstock that comes in a 12 by 12 sheet and um, I made a template to make it look, um, you know, like a topsy-turvy. And then I just freehand cut it out with, with the template from some cardstock first. And then I traced it onto this corrugated cardstock that you see here. And I made that shape. And then I created three. So I had three layers. And then I made a top for each stack of the cake to represent that. And what I did before I stacked the cakes is I went through with some of this beautiful satin trim from uh, May Arts. I love it. And just to kind of make it have that kind of ruffled ribbon look that you do see on wedding cakes. So this could be, you know, representative of a wedding cake or a birthday cake. My mom's birthday is actually coming up, so this might be something I might give to her. We'll see, because she loves purple just like I do. And then this is just some vintage lace that I have around the base, just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And then I have some um, string pearls that I put along the sides as well just to kind of make it look really pretty. Added some different flowers to the fronts and some more of that beautiful, this is that same 
white trim that you guys saw on this flower right here. That's what this is right here. And then I just have, a, this is a piece of um, paper from Webster's collection, one of the collections that I, that I have. And this is the back side here. I just thought this turned out really cute. And I just have a cluster of flowers right here. I'm hoping the sun's not too bright, you guys. And then what I have tucked in here, some more of that, that ribbon that you see, it's ruffled on the side right here. That's what it looks like when it's off the spool. And then I have some more of that lace. This is, oops, this lace right here I have tucked in. That is the lace, the trim that you guys, that you see right here. That is what I have on this project right there. And that's after I've stained it, and this is when it just comes. I love this one. I, I it's it's just a really fun lace. I wish I had more, and I only have a little tiny bit left. So, but I really like it. And then this is the front, and this is to mimic, you know, some buttercream roses, and that you would find on a cake, which I can make as well. And then um, just some more of the same pearls, just kind of like a little floral spray on the top of the cake. And then these are. You know, some beautiful paper flowers. I have to say that this one came all the way from Belgium. These are some foam roses. I've never seen those before. Um, I was in a swap with a, a lady from Belgium, so I had to mention that because that's a new craft item to me. And so that is the cake. And then I have, um, what I did with this is I wanted to create a mini because I love to make minis um, as well. So I'm right-handed, but I've told the camera. So pardon my hand and frame, but what this does is the cake actually flops open at the base and it does stay and then what I did is I made a little round mini on the inside and I'm going to flip this to the front here just to show you guys what I did is I have some more of that white trim and I had to use a piece of cardstock um, or excuse me chipboard to, for the for the hinge part but I covered it with um, some more of that beautiful cotton trim and then what you see here that flower hope you can see it because of the light this is off of the um, trim from my um, May Arts I have a, a big spool of this and I just used some more of the sprays on it to make it purple and kind of match and then you'll see on the inner edge there's some more of that beautiful satin um, trim or not satin I'm sorry it's um, and I forgive me um, I don't have the spool ribbon down with here with me to show you guys what that one came from so I'm gonna go ahead and flop this open again and it does stay like I showed you you guys can see it's gonna stay on the cake and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the mini album out and then I'm going to set that down on the table sorry for getting you guys really close to the cake here you're getting a close-up shot of the base <laughs> and then this is sorry for that noise this is the mini album I created it's just real tiny simple um, that way you know you give this to somebody for a birthday or something like that you have a little um, spots to put some photos and I'll kind of go through this part quickly what I did to tie it together is some more of the beautiful lace um, trim cotton trim from um, May Arts and then each page is double sided so you have lots of places you can choose a journal some of the pages have a lot more of that um, texture to them so you probably put a photo there and you could just you know document a birthday a wedding you know, put some notes on there have maybe have guests from the party or something like that sign this I think that'd be kind of a cool idea so I wish I would have thought of this for my own wedding four years ago because I would have made one for myself as for the reception that's kind of a cool thing so anyway so that's the little mini I made for the cake that goes inside the cake open that back up again I'm going to stick that and it just tucks nicely right inside. I wasn't able to embellish this up as much as I normally do just because of the fact that I didn't want the cake to be, you know, so massive, um, you know, of a project. So I just kind of made it that smaller size and it fits in there perfect. So there's the cake again. And then for the other projects I'm going to share with you guys, these are projects that I've had on my blog before, but they, um, these two feature um, the May Arts ribbon. I was... Um, if you check my blog, you'll see what this this project was for. But these are some paper cones that I made, and I'll show you. It opens up inside, so you can tuck flowers or, you know, um, gift cards, something like that. And there's some paper cones, and you can see here's some more of that trim I was telling you guys about. I just inked that, and this is some of the really cool. I wish I had more of this one. I wish I had a lot of the Mayor trim, but I really love this trim too. That black and white chevron, I think, is really cool. And I made a flower. This is some of the hot pink trim right there and then this is some more of that same cotton trim that I showed you guys that I made on this project here with the flower and this one I, I made I intended these to be kind of a grungy grungy um, chic type of uh, paper cones and that's why this stuff is so distressed so heavily because I just thought that was a kind of a fun look 
and you can see that there and this is the handle and then it's made like a little cluster right here just a leftover trims from the project I do have videos of this project as well so I won't go into too much detail just to keep this video not you know super long here's another flower I made using more of the different ribbons and trims and and things like that from May Arts this one was a tan and I did some staining on that and this is some more of the sheer ribbon to staple that in some random places just to kind of give it a really cool kind of look um, for the project. And then here's a cluster again of some more of leftover trim. So all the trims you see on these two projects are all from May Arts. And so just to kind of show you guys the different versatile ways you can use the ribbons and trims and laces. And you can really customize them to fit your projects. You don't have to keep them just in the color they come in which you know is fine as well but I think it's fun to alter items too so and the next two part of my reach here the last two actually are projects that I have done before as well I'm sorry about that that I've had on my blog and I just kind of wanted to showcase in my design team audition video um, just the different ways you can use ribbons besides um, you know making a banner making some paper cones or making something that's just I think really cool Oop, pardon the cords back there that I think is really cool um, with the cake is um, I also um, use some, tr these, now these ribbons are not from my, um, May Arts, but per the guidelines it didn't have to be. So I just wanted to kind of showcase, this is a card I made a while back, that you can use ribbons and trims as backgrounds. I mean this is to mimic a dress on a dress form for a card that I made. It has a little bit of a feather. This I think is really cool because you can use all kinds of you know ribbons and things like that to make um, dimension and texture in your projects which are things I like and then this is also a little shabby topiary I made using some crinkle ribbon again um, just another fun way to use ribbon and to use it in fun and unique ways that you can also use as home decor items in your house as well so and I have other um, projects throughout my house the video would be you know probably an hour long if I went through to show you guys everything that I have um, because I you know obviously love to paper craft for for you know gifts and things like that but I also make things for my home as well so so those are my projects so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of line them up here and that I am putting in my audition or design team call um, audition video for May Arts and I'll put my cake front and center because I have to tell you guys that's my favorite I mean I've shown this to um, you know some of my friends and um, you know that aren't crafty so they you know wouldn't see it like on you wouldn't like a announce it on their blog or something that I was doing this but and then my husband and my family they're just like oh my gosh I can't be made a cake out of paper so it was a lot of fun that's probably my favorite one I have to say and then my create banner which is right over here so thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video I hope it wasn't too super long I forgot to bring my timer down here with me on my phone and um, I'm just really excited for this opportunity to apply for the May Arts design team um, I participate in the challenges I love the ribbons and trims um, you know I just think it's really cool cool um, to use these products in your crafting projects because they're just high quality and they're just lots of fun and I'm hoping that I was able to show you some diversity on some different ways you can use your ribbons and trims that you may have in your stash or any new ones that you may purchase especially using May Arts so on that note I'll go ahead and kind of close out on my Topsy Turvy Cake and uh, Mini which is hidden in the inside so thank you guys keep your fingers and toes crossed for me um, I would just be beyond the moon excited about that if I made the team so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.